All right, let's play some more Modern Year. Uh, we're playing Faithless Looting decks without Faceless Looting. And uh, we got the deck here that top eight at the Open last weekend, SCG Dallas, out of nowhere. Um, pretty wild looking deck. Just a Rakdos mid-range deck. Just like Rakdos cards I own, Rakdos binder deck. Um, has some similarities to Mardu Pyromancer a little bit, but mostly just like, yeah, Rakdos mid-range. Rakdos cards I own. We got a, a seven ball of discard spells here, Inquisition and Thought Seizes. We got Fatal Push, Lightning Bolt, all the usual fair cards. There's certainly a graveyard theme in this deck. Uh, we have four copies of Season Pyromancer, which of course uh, discards cards, makes tokens, can put your uh, cards in the graveyard to flashback or things like that. Um, we've got uh, Pyromancer are putting cards in the graveyard, and we have Dreadlord Arcanist recasting all your one drops, and Chandra Acolyte of Flame also recasting your spells, which is pretty cool. And then we have Bedlam Reveler. Um, I love this card. This card's dope. Huge threat, draws cards, awesome. Um, other big threat is Hazaret the Fervent. Uh, pretty powerful in condition against any decks not playing Path to Exile. We got Liliana. We got Blood Moon. A lot of these uh, kind of annoying mid rangey cards. Um, a couple Cole against Commands and 22 lands. Honestly, it's pretty simple. It's mostly just Rakdos cards I own mixed up with uh, some flavors of Mardu Pyromancer. And uh, we got Blood Moons against the big mana decks. Uh, not much here against the graveyard decks, but we'll see about that. happens with that. Cyborg's pretty good also. We got uh, Kalidus, and we got some Plague Engineers. I don't know how much I hate this card. Uh, Collective Brutality, really good right now. Uh, I believe uh, John Lim, the player who played this deck, beat uh, Burn, playing him for winning him for top eight. Two Surgicals, uh, Chandra Torch of Defiance. This card seems really good in this deck. Uh, Pillage, that's old school. I like that. Extra Colgan's Command, a couple Spell Bombs. Um, deck seems sweet. Let's give it a try. Rakdos Midrange. Uh, dredge went 2 and 3, but we lost 2 Dredge Mirrors, which are not very uh, skill intensive. And we also won Dredge Opponent had Ley Lines, and we didn't. And then um, we lost to an As Foretold deck with Ley Lines and Anger of the Gods. So, we went 2-3, but, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty wonky league, uh, not gonna lie. So, Chandra Acolyte of Flame, I mean, is Torture Defiance better? I think Torture Defiance is pretty good in a deck like this, but Acolyte of Flame does get to flashback cards in the graveyard, it's a threat, Precious Planeswalker is cheaper, I don't know, we'll see, honestly. Um, this is not not cards I've played, especially not in this combination before. So we're going to see how this works. Pillage is dope. Alright, go on first. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this plays for me. I'm going to fetch Basic Swamp on turn one. What's up, Dill? This will be on YouTube in a few days. And if you're a sub, you can watch the VODs on demand. And for those who don't know, it's currently September. I'm streaming 20 days in a row. This is day number one. All right. And you can see here, we're currently at 537 subs out of 1,000. These are our goals. We get these thresholds, you get the prize. Simple as that. All right. Just our goal is 999 subs. No 1,000, please. September. Here we are. Most things end up on YouTube. This one will be on YouTube. Not everything goes on YouTube. But again, if you're a sub, you can watch my VODs on demand. Opponent mulliganed to th three? Opponent mulligans to three. Okay. Uh, Drawn seems like a terrible matchup, but they mulligan to three. And we thought sees them. So... What I'm saying is, it's going to be really embarrassing when we lose this game. <laughs> the new stream mascot is literally right there. And uh, he is pretty cool. And he would love to meet you all, but he can't meet you until we hit the goal. Yeah, 
Alright. Um, I mean, Liliana seems pretty good here. Because we can uh, attack their hand size and make it so they have to draw and play lands every turn. Any non-land they draw just goes away, so... <laughs> Ursus Tower. Ursus, Ursus Mine. Worm Coil Engine. Alright, so we're going to sack on do that. It's fine. God, we're, we're so going to lose this game, it's actually unreal. Raise your hand in chat, I think we're going to lose this game. <laughs> we're not drawing well, that's for sure. Alright, they have one card in hand, they're about to lose it. It's a forest. Chromatic Sphere, Relic, Pop Relic, all right. Ursus Tower, go. No, okay, okay. Season Pyromancer. Um, I made a mistake last turn. I should have discarded a land and not the spell. I was not thinking of Pyromancer. So, first time playing the deck, that makes sense. Easy mistake to make. Uh, we're gonna pitch both the cards in our, actually, I'm sorry, I should just activate this first. It's not like I, I draw anyway, so... Discard that. Gage wins! Two-month resub, welcome back. That's a very important month, my friend. Thank you for coming back, appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hazard and Coligan's Command, sure. <laughs> oh my god, they're so live, it's unreal. Dreadward Arcanist. All right, we're definitely playing Hazard and attacking. Uh, I'd say Arcanist probably worse than Coligan's Command. I mean, we can ultimate Liliana. We can draw step, make them discard. We've got Hazard. <laughs> They're definitely just gonna draw Ugin and destroy us, but. That's close. I mean, it can't kill uh, can't kill Hazard, which is pretty cool. So, it does kill my Liliana ultimate, but it cannot kill Hazard. I love how this game is even close. They mulligan to three, and we thought seize them. Blood Crypt. Um, pretty sure we just draw step discard. I'm gonna draw a card off this. We're probably gonna draw step discard. Cliffs, sure. Don't think they have any outs here. Uh, steals the two also. Get back Pyromancer, we just kill them. They're at seven. They're dead. Alright, we beat Tron. When they mulliganed to three. It was close though. Pillage me up, please. God, give me these pillages. Uh, pillages. We're probably on the surgical plan, because I think the matchup is just probably that bad. Uh, Chandra seems bad. Lightning Axe is terrible. Fatal Push is terrible. Um, Coligan's Command is okay. This is probably fine. Don't brutality, don't want play engineer, don't want Chandra, don't want spell bomb. Yeah, this is fine. I guess Chandra Aqua to Flame can flash back the, the pillages, which is pretty cool. So it might be better than like maybe it's better than Coligan's Command. We're on the draw too, so Coligan's Command is not likely to snipe an artifact. <laughs> yeah. Like I like the idea of discard of the draw step discard. Maybe actually we just shave a reveler or two. Maybe shave a reveler and shave. Uh... Let's see. Let's, shave, let's do this. This seems fine to me. All right. So 
We're all in on our pillages and our blood moons. What's the best Tron version? Uh, I think Car and the Great Creator is a trap. That was my instinct for a long time, and it felt like no one else agreed with me. And then, like, I won the Pro Tour and I felt validated, which is cool. Feeling validated is tight. Alright, uh, we're gonna mulligan. <laughs> it's our turn to mulligan to three. I mean, we gotta keep this. We're gonna ship, uh. What are we just Blood Crypt? Bloodstain Mire? Yeah. Alright, I mean, as far as five cards' hands goes, this is a pretty good one. Yeah, I think Car and the, the, car and the Great Creators is not good. Alright, not a good draw. Big thought sees. I mean, just map, worm coil, spear, and they already have Tron. That's not good. Um, so they go land, go. I go land, Arcanist. They go worm coil. So yeah, we gotta take that. Think we're in trouble, folks. Could be worse, I suppose, but. Urza's Tower. What boom boom did they peel off the top? Crap. That's Ballista? Okay, that's that could be worse. So they have a sphere, a forest, and one other card in their hand. That's not bad. Um, okay. So obviously if we edict them, we just lose our our stuff anyway. I can attack and thought seize them. They block. And they can shoot one time, no, twice. But I can't cast Liliana post Blood Moon because of how my lands work right now. It's, I think it's probably just Edict to try and fade for one turn and then Blood Moon. It also puts them in the spot I need to decide if they want to kill my Liliana or kill my Arcanist. They're going to shoot that. So that works for me. So we get to, we get to keep Liliana, and the Arcanist dies. And we got to fade for one turn here. Everyone cross your fingers. I can't look. I'm not looking. I do like it. This works a lot better with Arena, so I can hear what's going on. But I'm just going to sit here and hope everything's going to work out A-OK. -okay. They're playing a forest. They're playing a star and cycling it. They're casting Sylvan Scrying for a Wastes, and they're saying go. Crap. Mm. Can't be that card. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's not do that again. <laughs> that sucked. So if Elspeth joins as Gideon's replacement, isn't the Gatewatch just like Jace and a bunch of women? Isn't that kind of weird? Why would that be weird? Alright. 
So let's just try and like my. I mean, like we were almost close to mising a win there. Like if they break that one turn, we blood moon them. We had like a chance to win. Maybe on the play here, we can like maybe get them. All right, this hand's pretty bad. Thanks, follow Zab. Be involved with that follow button, of course. Watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. All right. Um. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna mulligan. Yeah, this hand just sucks too bad. If I knew I had a pillage coming, but I don't, and the bolt is terrible. That is that's better. Keep. Alright. Ship the bolt. Uh a little awkward there at the swamps, but... Alright. I guess we're just getting a Blood Crypt. Let's say go. Can't fetch for swamps because we need to cast our red spells, so we're going to need to get one duel. We're not going to have access to Leonovus game. I think it's fine. I'm not going to fetch for the first turn. See if we draw a Swamp or not. It's not amazing, but fine, I guess. Alright, I mean, we're going to pillage for sure. That's our, that's our other black, too. It's kind of nice. Alright, we're definitely going to pillage. Uh, I'm thinking of mountains. We're going to have all mountains anyway. Alright, fire one pillage. Place the power plant. All right. So I guess we're blood mooning. Um, we can't let them have Tron. Obviously, this is fine. We need to actually kill them, which is kind of important. So Chandra can pillage in two turns, which is kind of a ways away, but. What's up, Lord Draken? Alright, I don't like Forest Go here. That feels like a nature's claim, which really sucks, but... At least we're going to find out. Nope! Their hand is land, 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 Worm Coil Engine. Wow. Okay. Um... Power plant sphere. I mean, flashing back pillage is pretty dope. They're kind of like locked into just hard casting worm coils, so. Alright, I mean, I don't think Syrinx does a ton. So it's finding a Oblivion Stone would be bad. Oh, look, that's exactly what they found. Great. Why do I even talk? You know? Why do I even talk? Uh, they already have a forest in their hand. So, Stone Raining Forest doesn't even really do anything. That was really good. Oh, I could have Inquisition... No, I could have Inquisition, Inquisition Miss Stone instead. That's true. I, I screwed up. I should have done that the other way. Ah, whatever. It's fine. I should have... Uh, 
I should have thought seized the worm coil and then attack the Inquisition because the thought seized, the thought seized is more relevant than the uh, than the, uh, the the Inquisition is. So getting the value of the Inquisition was a little bit a lot better. So that was that was dumb, but whatever. Slight misplay there. Hopefully it won't cost us. Would much rather have a thought season in the graveyard than Inquisition, so. I mean, their hand is four lands. Um, our clock is not particularly fast. Opponent says in chat, good games, Jim. Been subscribed on YouTube for about a year now. Cranko is good. <laughs> Just want to get that Cranko shot in before they uh, before they leave this game. We can still lose this game, like, definitely. Which is kind of a sick part, but... And they just cast Sylvan Scrying. We know they have a bunch of spells, or a bunch of lands in their hand. That's pretty funny. <gasps> good game. Before we go, Cranko's good, just so you know. Alright. 1 up. Rakdos cards I own. Would I not play the second Blood Moon to play around O Stone? I mean, like, you're playing around different things. If you don't play the second Blood Moon and they draw a Nature's Claim. They could just, like, Nature's Claim cast a big spell. So it's a little six and one, half a dozen and the other kind of thing. They already used the stone. Hadn't cast any claims. There's arguments both ways, for sure. GG, Jim. I'm going to let you finish. But Krenko's one of the best goblins of all time. Of all time. Well, Blasto didn't do anything because there was a Blood Moon in play. So, I think one Cranko is actually correct in Modern Goblins right now. So, as much as it pains me to say that. And we'll play Goblins once we get 600 subs. We got a lot more streaming to do today. Um, when John gets home from his first day of school, we're going to do a John and Jim show. I'll see, like killed someone or something on his first day. And I'm streaming my, my fantasy football, football draft tonight at 9 p.m. So more streaming today um, besides just the magic right now. Uh, so be ready for that. John and Jim show, if you don't know, is a show I do with my stepson. He is eight. We play cooperative games, mostly classic retro games. We're currently playing Donkey Kong Country for Super Nintendo. If Wild Cantor was a goblin, would you play one in Modern Goblins as a fifth one drop? No. I would play Knucklebone Witch or Mog Fanatic before I played uh, that card you just made up. Alright. We're on the drop. We have Blood Moon. We have no swamps. But we have double discard into Blood Moon. We probably need to keep this end. Um, insider trading, don't pick Andrew Luck. That's why we do our draft the night before the season starts. Mog Fanatic over Firebrand, I think. Alright, opponent. You kept seven. You're on the play. Do your worst. This can't be a good matchup for us, so... Oh, wait. I'm dumb. It's the next match. Others are playing against Tron. <laughs> How did I get this job? I'm so absent-minded. Top, top. All right. Uh, well, let's see what's up here. I mean, you got a little discard spells. Let's see what's going on. This could be Storm. It's not Phoenix, obviously, so. It's, uh, I think it's a .5 PPR league. 
That sucks. They kept a one lander and they top topped. That's kind of gross. Uh, and they have, and they have double gifts ungiven. I mean, yeah, I mean, we can Blood Moon them, hopefully. The two gifts is tough, because it means you probably can't thoughts these gifts anymore. Um, it's probably Metamorphose then thought sees them and try and Blood Moon them, which kind of stinks, but... Steam Bent's Shock. All right, so you like to see that. Thoughtseize. Enter a Swamp, too. That's kind of nice. Do you wish to remand my one mana spell? No. I'm pretty sure we take the remand. So we can just nail the uh, Blood Moon next turn. And say go. Slight of... Oh, no, oh, oh. Actually, that's fine. Slight of hand. Steam vents tapped. Okay. Sonic. Later, my friend. Feel better. bad either, honestly. That's actually pretty good. So we get to Blood Mood them now, and then we get to Chandra Thought Seize next turn. There's certainly some anti-synergy in this deck between flashing back the spells with Chandra and Arcanist and Bedlam Reveler. That's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. But... <laughs> Speak of a devil. Uh, still Chandra. And I'm pretty sure it's just Inquisition because Thoughtseize can only hit Gifts Ungiven as a relevant card. Brawl, Grape Shot. Alright, so we take the Grape Shot. I mean, they have like two islands in their deck, maybe? So. Weird. Can't cast that, I guess. Okay. Not exactly a fast clock here. At your mountain, thank God. Basic island there, and we we lose we lose this game for sure. We are on the cheese them out plan currently. Lightning bolts. Uh, still can't cast, uh, Reveler yet. It kind of sucks. This costs six once I cast the Lightning Bolt. I'm not going to flash anything back here. Definitely think we're lacking a good win condition. Um, it does feel like we close these games out really slowly. All right, I'm gonna bolt them as we draw Lamb again. Uh, cast Reveler. There's your land. So, give me the old Rebel Skis. You draw three lands. All right. 
Finn Dorsal, new or recurring sub. What's up, my friend? Welcome back. That's month number two. Once again, that's the important month. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate that so much. Welcome back for month number two. Hope to see you for many more. Uh, I mean, they're just dead next turn. What thoughts is them? Thanks for following, everyone. Past in Flames. Gifts Ungiven, Gifts Ungiven, Brawl, Serum Visions. So they draw an island. Um, I suppose the worst thing they could do is cast Brawl, then cast Past in Flames, then cast Metamorphose, then cast Grape Shot. That's pretty good. Let's take the Brawl. You actually resubbed yesterday. Does it count for September? I'm not sure. Um, it depends on when you did it. it started at 4 p.m. yesterday. Let's look at the Past in Flames, Ritual, Metamorphose. I guess we could die here. That would suck. I mean, if we die here, it's it's only because we just close so slowly. I guess Bruce and Brawl decks? Yeah, probably. September is actually not only new subs. I read the fine print. Why are you sorry? It's bad for you, not bad for me. I mean, the subs subs are subs, you know? So yeah, it's like... Any new Tier 1 subscription on a web or desktop app is eligible. Unless you cancel... Wait. I read this differently before. Maybe it is new subs only. Look, I just read this. Oh, it's here. Yeah, see? Unless you're... Existing recurring subscription to the channel ends between September 3rd to September 24th. So, if you if your sub ends then, then you get to get the, the, the half off of that, I think. Alright, so they cast Past in Flames, they Brave Shot it away my Reveler and my Chandra and my Dreadlord Arcanist. That was a good draw. Um... And they have a hand of visions. And they cast the visions. Two gifts, no blue. Damn, that's dirty. The only card in deck that kills fast. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Alright, so super cheesy win there. Oh my god. Amulet of Amulet. Is gifting a million subs. New subs. What are your names? Where are you from? Welcome, my friends. Uh, Alright, so Storm. We want Spell Bombs. We want Brutalities and Surgicals. Do I want Plague Engineer for, uh, for Goblin Tokens, maybe? I'd say I don't want Cole against Command. I mean, Blood Moon's not even good against them. Let's fetch an island now because they know better. Let's have Metamorphose. Um, Lightning Axe is bad. New subs. You can extend your sub for half off. It's true. And don't forget about the Discord chat server for subs only. And Survivor Football, free for subs. Um... 
They have Aria of Flame? Yeah, that's a good one. I don't really have an answer for that one. And I want to cut some of the removal. I'm just going to cut all pushes, I guess. We'll just have four bolts and three brutalities. So we're a little light on ways to kill Baral, but we also have Liliana too, so I think this is fun. We're definitely trying to keep them resource light, so hopefully Arya is uh is beatable in that regard, but it does seem tough. Uh, sounds, sounds fine. Not great, but fine. Surgical extraction also. What's up, Real? Uh, if you didn't get an invite for the football pool, it's in the Discord. Just hop into the Discord. The hook, you know, you get hooked up in there. All right, easy gifts I'm giving here. Um... We can bolt the brawl. If opt and sleight of hand is fine. Honestly, even surgical and gifts. Let's see. Surgical and, surgical and gifts is pretty good. But surgical and spell bomb are also good against gifts, which make the gifts less valuable. I'm still going to surgical with the gifts, I think. It's much, much harder than doing without gifts, so. Alright, so we're going to let this resolve. And then go to their draw step and surgical gifts ungiven and hope that we drew, they drew gifts ungiven. They did not. They drew Remand, and they have a Desperate Ritual. They only have two Gifts in their deck? Wow. That's interesting. So post-board, they rely more on pieces of the puzzle. Okay. Okay. Well, that's why we play the games. To learn. They have two Abraid, two Bolt. Only two Baral in their entire deck. Two Pyromancer's Ascension, four pieces of the puzzle. So their deck, their deck is slowed down significantly. Uh, which I think is probably fine for us. Sleight of Hand, Steam Vents. That's what every Storm player does? Well, that would have been helpful to know about two minutes ago, Ross. Brawl, Ritual, Ascension, Remand. So it has to be Ascension because so we can't remove it otherwise. That was a very lucky discard spell for us. And... I mean, playing Spell Bombs like... I think they had two empties, yeah. They had a few empties. There's your Brawl, Spire Bluff. Ritual Remand. I mean, they're pretty resource light here at this point, which is kind of nice. We have a bunch of Swamp, but it's a Fane Blood Moon. Ritual, ritual, remand. Alright, I mean... They got two rituals and nothing else. I think we're popping our spell bomb. I'm gonna try some action here. Obviously stinks a little bit because they have Rich of Adra passing blames and rituals are really good, but... Uh, that's a good one. 
Getting max punish for getting swamp, obviously. One, two, three, and we're short anyway. Alright. Uh we got a reveler here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think Reveler's fine here. We can't cast Pyromancer or discard these cards anyway, so. Land Spellbomb Thoughtseize. I kind of might want to wait for, uh, wait for the Prowess Triggers next turn. I just play it safe in Thought Season now. No, I'm gonna say go. Alright, so that's, that's, that's pretty good. So now you get to Spell Bomb and Thought Season them after they piece of the puzzle. They reveal Ascension, Reef, Ritual. Alright, so they get a. They get Negate and another Ritual. Just negates a weird one, honestly. Uh, all right, thought sees prowess trigger a braid ritual negate ritual ritual. Don't think a braid matters that much, and. I don't think the gate matters either, honestly. Like, I think I might just take Ritual Ritual here, honestly. Like, not let them draw it empty. Just leave them with these bad reactive cards that don't do anything. So their hand is Negate, a Braid, Pyretic Ritual. I guess they could have Braid my Nile Spell Bomb here, but that's really not the uh, end of the world. Season Pyromancer. Mm, that's pretty dope. Can't negate this bad boy. Casual 2-2, two, two, draw 2. And that's the match. Book it. 2-0. Rack those cards I own. Let's keep rolling here. I want to remind everyone to check out bcwsupplies.com, your number one source for all your game supply needs. Their gaming line is phenomenal. I've been using it in every tournament I've played for the last four years. I've given them feedback. Feedback from Team MGG and from Team BCW has helped to uh, inform their future products. They have, they have deck cases, which are awesome. Uh, I prefer the deck... Uh, the Deck Vault 80 is my weapon of choice. Has a nice little dice tray. Still nice and compact. I use the blue one, which is this one right here. And uh, that's pretty nice. Their binders are fantastic. The sleeves are awesome. Check them out. BCWsupplies.com. You can use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order. Good, good stuff. Quality. My, my Deck Vault has literally been around the, around the country 40 times over in the last few years. And it's great. Check it out, bcwsupplies.com. Theros is confirmed for the winter expansion. So his throne of, of Elder whatever is a, is a one-shot deal. All right, going first. A little Blood Moon cheese and a bunch of threes. All right, sure. Um... I'm just going to get a Swamp. Burn. Nice Swamp, Jim. Good job not taking damage. Very smart of you. Oh, thanks. Alright. Um, that's pretty bad. I think Lava Mancer's the take here, even though it's not really great against us. It's going to do more damage than these other cards are. We 
we do have uh, a lot of collective brutalities on our sideboard, which is nice. Well, wasn't that lucky. All right. Uh, I don't really want to cast uh, Thoughtseize again. I also want to get Searing Blaze. That was probably one of the worst draws in the deck. My hand seems like a mulligan or their hand? If I had known I was playing against Burn, I would have mulliganed. But we didn't know that, obviously. We got to our third land here. We're in trouble. Lava Spike off the top. All right. Good draw so far. Good draw so far. As a pro Magic player, how many packs of sleeves do I go through? I mean, a decent amount. I use sleeves for a long time. The uh, BCW Elite 2 deck cards last for a while. Probably use like one pack for like three or four tournaments. Land, please. Oh, thank God. All right. Um, interesting here. We're going to nine already? Jeez. What happened this game? Their hand was so bad. They just drew Sospear and Lava Spike back to back. Why didn't they bolt also? That's kind of weird. All right. And we got to edict them. Blood Moon's actually not that bad against them, but yeah, I mean, I'll we'll just get a mountain and edict them so I can still, still, uh, still Chandra. Yeah, we're not, at, we're not really, uh, in too good of a shape here. I'm not going to lie. All right, went upstairs. They've got three cards, Searing Blaze, Sacred Foundry, and card. Season Pyre. I can't really play a creature, because if I do, they will Searing Blaze it. Uh, second Chandra can go. They have a land to discard. Yes. I think we're Blood Mooning here. Turns off all their white cards. I can't play a creature. Playing Chandra and plussing it isn't very good, so... This is probably going to make them sack their canyon in response. So their hand is Searing Blaze and a couple new cards. Alright. I mean, now they can't, uh, can't, like, fetch Searing Blaze. Searing Blaze isn't as bad. Alright, I think you should pitch a land here. Another land? <sighs> so playing Pyromancer is just so, like... We know they have Searing Blaze. They have, they have Searing Blaze and one other card in their hand. Obviously, Liliana's working away at their... I guess I could just play Chandra and plus it and not use it. I guess I... Actually, you know what? Chandra's fine. If they want us with the Searing Blaze, I think that's actually okay. Let's try and get some semblance of a clock going here. Well, if we cast either Pyromancer or Arcanist, the better cards to cast, then it will deal three if they make a land drop, which is really bad for us, so... Oh god. Oh, they're not gonna Searing Blaze their own so spear. Beetle push. Okay. What are we doing here? Um they have two cards in hand. I'm pretty sure we're going to Fatal Push. We're going to pitch this Arcanist, I think. I 
They discarded another land. They have a lot of lands. All right, and we'll push this on their turn. We're seeing a, a, a recurring trend here of we're not really closing out these games super quickly, and we've really been at the mercy of a top far opponent's decks, and that kind of scares me. Uh, but we'll see if we can squeak this one out. No blocks. They have drawn a lot of lands. Uh, we draw a lightning bolt. Awkward. Super awkward. Let's plus Liana. All right, they discarded the Searing Blaze. So I think we're good to go here on Season Pyromancer. I thought it's Hazard. Oh, I want one of those cards. I don't want the other. Land. All right, so they drew, a, they drew a second Searing Blaze. All right. We're two. There are 12. May God have mercy on our soul. Black Cleave Kiffs. Love it. All right. We got a clock at least. We need to fade for one single turn, and I cannot look. I'm not looking. Just going to sit here. I hope everything turns out okay. Oh look, the BCW Deck Vault 80. It's weird I would have that lying around. That's pretty cool. Wonder what's happening over here. Da! Why does it happen every time? Yeah. So, lack of a uh, lack of closing speed has been a real issue. Um. Kalidus is good. Brutality is good. Uh, Thoughtseize is bad. Um, don't like this Lightning Axe very much. Cold uh, against Command is pretty good against them. Kill something Discard is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, you should be okay here. Liana Ultimate. That was the last turn. Why would that matter? They have four lands. They just keep two lands, right? Like, it went 2-6 that turn. I couldn't have ultimated them. Uh, Alright. This is fine. I mean, Chandra can kill an Eidolon without causing a problem. Um, which is kind of nice. No, nah, Small Chandra can flashback uh, Brutality, which is dope. So... I like that. Mm. Why doesn't Siege Rhino see play? Uh, because Modern's not about that. Modern's about doing ridiculously stupid things and a medium sized, mid range value creature. Just doesn't really do anything. Alright, I mean, as far as hands against burn go, this is a pretty good one, so we're going to keep. Uh, new computer's over there. I'm still, still going to work on it. I haven't even unpacked it from South Carolina yet. I brought it to South Carolina. We're getting there. I had a few good calls today. We have a few, a few new sponsors for the stream I'll be announcing soon. God, this hand is good. Jesus. Um, even though we have Bolt, I'm pretty sure it's still Swift Spear. Bolt can kill the next creature. The thing is, Rabbit Master just, like, dies to everything. I agree Rabbit Master kills quickly, which is important, but... 
I'm trying to land there is not what we're looking forward to, but. We're taking zero damage from our lands this game, so that's definitely good news. You know, card for card here, um, they have a couple threes. We have 20 life points. The math adds up in our favor, you know? Uh, yeah. Lightning Helix, oh my god! Oh, nope. Wow. They Boris Charm Liliana? That's, that's pretty cool. Wow. That Liliana gained seven life. That is awesome. Um, couldn't ask for more. All right. Sunbay Canyon, you got it. I'm feeling pretty good about this game now. Jeez. Cletus. Pyromancer. Uh, okay. Probably just pitch these two lands. Keep his bolt around. Could also play a land, bolt them, and then just draw. Yeah, maybe just do that actually. Should get the just only to discard one, draw two. I have an extra land to play is pretty nice with Pyromancer too, so we can flash it back easier. All right, it's not not amazing. That's fine. Here at 17, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good here. Uh, we're currently 2 and 0, playing Rakdos cards I own. Sure. Alright, so can't block here because they have bolts. And we can block here. Just make them use the bolt so our Arcanist lives. I actually kind of like that. Gain two life, make them use Lightning Bolt, play Arcanist, hope it lives. Now they have one card in hand. And we're at a healthy 11? 11's not that healthy. Oh, that's a boom boom. Uh, yeah. Never mind, let's do that. Yes, this is the deck, the top eight of the open, uh, in the hands of... Uh, John Lim. Rift bolts into the exile zone. All right. Let's go here. Kill spell, please. No? All right. I mean, we're coming to town. If they want to block and bolt this and kill it, I gain some life. It's fine by me. Oh, yeah. You, you gain that first three life. It just feels so good. Would the Black Cavalier from M20 be a decent sideboard card against Burn? No, that card costs five. Uh, five's a lot in modern. Oh my god. I didn't realize that. That's so good. Dreadhorde Arcanist is a red zombie. Didn't even process. Thought I was just a wizard. I should have sacked this immediately. Uh, wow, that's dope. That's really cool. Cleta sacrifices zombies or vampires. Alright, so easy block here. We're going to block and sack. Well, we're gonna block and see what they do. If they cast a spell, we'll sacrifice it. Yeah, this is this is great for us. So if the last card isn't like a fresh path exile, we're in we're in uh we're in great shape. Red zombie. Dum da dum 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 dum. I didn't do that, I guess. 
All right, just a 5-6 lifelinker coming at you here. Hide a lot of the Great Rebel. You got it, friend. I am gaining life and not casting spells anymore. I think we're okay with this. Bring it on. All right, we are three and O. Oh. Wait, up? Oh, nope, never mind. Sorry, pre premature there. Apologize. My bad. Head is burn. Beat a five six life linker. Path to exile or bust. Yes, we were going to flashback the Pyromancer on their turn. My sock is inside out. I can't even dress myself. My sock is inside out. I'm like not even a functioning human being. Jeez. I had a hockey game last night. I had my playoff game. I hope my goalie's not watching because he did not play very well. My goalie allowed four goals on the first five shots of the game. We were down 4 nothing, like four minutes into the game. Final score was 7-3. to three. So we lost our playoffs game, and we were eliminated. I was playing forward, though. That was fun. Uh, the sand's not great. But mulliganing for brutality is not super great either. I did not score, no. I had a few good chances, but... No goals for me. Do I think Mardu Pyromancer is dead without looting? It needs to be different, that's for sure. Keeper Molly, what do you think? I like the bolt. Arcanist is fine. Colgan's command's pretty good. We're on the draw. It's pretty close. Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards Mulligan also. Let's draw Brutality. Okay, no Brutality. I mean, this is definitely a keep. Um, I think we're shipping the Blood Moon. I think the Blood Moon's the worst card here. Alright, ship a land at least, please. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Archon, 13 month resale. Welcome back. Hey Jim, nice to see you back. Nice to see you back. Inquisition ain't bad. Uh, Bolt's better than push, right? Yeah, I think so. Resub. Rift Bolt. My turn. Right. Well, what you got for us? Path, path, searing blaze, searing blaze. Oh, I love this hand. We're going to win this game so easily. Oh, my God. All right. Um, their hand's basically blank. This is awesome. We're, we have Liliana. We're just, just going to discard all their cards. <laughs> like, this is great. <laughs> Yeah, definitely rewarded for our mulligan. Yeah, they brought a path because they, they lost the Kalidus. We only have one Kalidus in our deck, you know? I think I saw Hazard too, right? Alright. Liana, do your thing, girl. 
Girl. Swamp. What do I discard? I think I discard Hazard, honestly. Like... This is my favorite modern deck. Pretty sad looting can't be land, actually. in this shell anymore. Simon, Risa, 14 months, welcome back. They discarded Searing Blaze. They have two Path to Exile and a card. Is it Boros Charm? No, it's Skullcrack. Okay. Moto Boo. Standard right now is so boring. We're pre rotation. Come on. Alright, discard path. Say go. The brawl precons on arena are right now. Oh well. Remember folks, all my new subs, I have a private Discord chat server for subs only. That's right. Private Discord chat server, subs only. Make sure you link your Twitch and your sub and get on there if you're a new sub. Alright? Um, they have three cards in hand now. I think I just coal against command and then make them discard. Try and plow their over this hazard. It's not ideal, but... Discard Eidolon of the Great Rebel. All right. Red Horde Arcanist. They are holding out of his path for dear life. They will not let go of his path to exile. All right, I'm going to play Dread Horde Arcanist and make them use it and get my fifth land for Hazaret and kill them with it. Am I going to do, do spoiler stuff? I will. Um, I have a Wayne Gretzky question for me. Wayne was one of the most dominant athletes to ever play a sport. Is that because he was a 10 out of 10 in a field of 6 out of 10s? Could Wayne have had the same level of success now? It's not about the high bar. Like, Mario Lemieux was playing with Gretzky, and he was just, you know, he was close to as good as Gretzky, Mark Messier. It's about the low bar. It's about the worst, how good the worst player in the league is. But even then, um, that discussion comes up a lot in sports, where it's like, well, Babe Ruth wouldn't be good today. He was fat and old, but everyone else sucked. Well, if Babe Ruth grew up today, he'd be ripped because all the athletes are ripped now, and he'd be even better, probably. So, I don't really buy that argument. That's, that's hilarious. All right. Um, so, we plus Liliana. They are going to path. But I think we can just attack and make them lose it anyway. Welcome aboard. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. I mean, let's move to combat and see what happens. They're going to let me attack? Wow. All right. Um, I'm not going to discard, so I'll just bolt them. All right. So I take four. And then if we plus Liliana, they're just going to cast Path to Exile. But I want them to do that anyway, so... No? I've never seen someone more terrified of Kalidus in my entire life. They're not willing to even cast the path because they're scared of me giving me four mana. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Well, they didn't see that. They don't know we have Hazard, right? Like, all right, so... Sun Bay Canyon's not bad there because it, uh, it does allow them to keep the card in their hand without actually keeping it. Um, they don't really have any plays here, which kind of sucks. Let's see. Uh, I guess I might have screwed up here. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I got an ultimated... And then, 
Well, I guess they, they would split it anyway. It doesn't really matter. Like, killing two over Lance doesn't really matter at all. I could split it Canyon versus three, which is, like, sort of like making them discard a card. Um... Yeah, whatever. I also just can't plus this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ultimate. They are gonna crack in response. Yeah, I I screwed up here. I think I should have done this first. Then I could have discard spelled them. So we get to stone rain them. Um, I guess we're going to play the other Liliana and just not use it. Right, your turn. Ugh. Well, Scooby, the thing is that if you throw... Today's pitchers back in Babe Ruth's era, then Babe Ruth also has the same sort of rigorous training and stuff too. So, we please draw land here. We do that. Is that possible? No. 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 All right. Would I rather have a one-one token or an extra card in my hand? We're casting a stupid pyromancer at this point. We got to kill them. Can't keep messing around here. All right. I'm just plusing into the yeah, I'm just to cast the Pyromancer. Alright, get a token. Reveler Chandra. Reveler currently costs four. Um there's no point even doing that, I guess. Alright, let's attack. We need to kill them before they draw two bolts. Basically. Next turn we are one short of killing them. Oh. No, I don't want to do this again. Come on, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Oh, why you like this? I should have ripped Burn Spell, Burn Spell, and kill me again. It's so sick. I'm gonna leave back one token as a chump blocker. I'm gonna leave back the Dreadhorde, I guess. I'm not casting any spells. I can't. I can't luck. I can't luck. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Nope. Nope. No, I'm not looking. No, no, no. God! So, closing speed, a problem. Their hand was so bad that game. It is embarrassing we lost that game. They basically had a zero card hand in the mid game. And we still lost, because we, we just couldn't close the game. So, definitely a huge problem of this deck is just the inability to close the game and allowing opponents to top deck out on us. It'd be cool if uh, if uh, they didn't just draw out on us, but we can't give them the chance either. So, I agree, there is certainly some pretty serious anti-synergy between Reveler and Arcanist and Chandra. For sure. For sure. And I laughed at them for not cashing the path? Yeah, I guess so. I guess they're a master. I don't think I played bad that game. I don't think I played well. I mean, they yeah, were 2-1. Like, I'm not really unhappy with anything we did that game, right? Like, Lightning Skelemental? Eh, that card's just like, that card's cool, but not really jiving with the, the flow of the deck. I 
mean, I'd almost rather lean towards Reveler than Arcanist. I think Reveler is a much more powerful card. Like, Arcanist just dies a lot. And it's cool that none of our cards really die that much. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's going on? We're on five now, and we're on the draw. I, I guess we're keeping five cards in the draw. We could have discarded the Hazard instead of the fourth land, and then K commanded the Hazard back. Yeah, maybe. That's fair. Our K command didn't have much value. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, I think we keep five here, and just hope we draw some lands. I have to build twelve ball the twelve ball lightning deck. Don't worry. Alright, don't worry. Astrolabe. Alright, well. Let's draw a land, please. Alright. Ensnaring Bridge, Ithing Needle, Teferi Time Raveler, Urza. Alright. Uh definitely Teferi. That bounces our Arcanist if we draw a land. Aether Mech. Thanks for watching, my friend. Appreciate it. Our luck's been fine. We're 2 1, you know? Huh. No. No, 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 no. Mystic Forge? Ugh. We can't beat Urza or Mystic Forge. I think we might be going to game two here, folks. Yep. One more luck. One more luck. Alright. And scoop. Let's not, let's not show them what we're playing. They know we're playing a swamp and discard spells. They don't know we're playing red yet, so... Not a very fun game, obviously, but it's magic sometimes. Um, Alright, so we're bringing in... Coligan's Command... I mean, Plague Engineer stops the Thopters. Actually, might be fine, honestly. Fatal Push kills Urza. Lightning Bolt does not. Blood Moon seems exceptionally bad. Do I want Pillage? Doesn't seem great. I guess Chandra also kills Urza, but not really great though, because then, then the token can just kill the Chandra. Um, you want like these? We cut like bolt, bolt push. It's a lot of threes. It's a lot of threes. Uh, I think this is fine though. Let's try this. Leon is bad? I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, I, there's some certainly some deck-building problems here, for sure. Um, there's anti-synergy between Revelers and Arcanists. A lot too many threes. Um, there's certainly just a pile of good cards, you know, which I'm not a huge fan of. Alright, a little awkward, but we're going to keep... Just happy to keep seven, honestly. Reveler without looting is a little bit of a, a little bit of a hard sell in some ways. Um, I think we could build the deck to be a better Reveler deck, play things like Ransack the Lab or things like that. Um, I don't see much want to try Mardu, like no Blood Moons, play Lingering Souls. Probably makes your, uh, makes your Tron matchup unwinnable, but 
Surgicals? What are you on Surgical for? Yeah, it's kind of lame. Mardu with Smuggler's Copter? I mean, we have like five creatures in our deck, right? Trust me, I love Smuggler's Copter. I do, I do think that Smuggler's Copter is an underplayed card in Modern, but don't think this is the deck for it. Bloodgast, Smuggler's Copter. <laughs> Alright, Plague Engineer is gone. Interesting. Right, well, let's see why. They've got Stoneforge Mystic, Stoneforge Mystic, Astrolab, Worm Mention, Mox Opal. So, their hand is mostly untouchable. But I guess we can push one Stoneforge, take the other. It's not ideal, but... Mm. Okay, they're gonna Astrolabe over Stoneforge? Do they have a, a zero drop artifact to go with their Mox Opal? No. Interesting. A lightning Bolt? Interesting. Um, we're definitely pyromancering. What are we doing to discard? Definitely Liliana. Uh, and then Bolt or Push? Why Push? Bolt seems more flexible, easier to cast. I'm not even sure that, that uh, Stoneforge is good in this deck. I mean, Harlan did not play Stoneforge in his deck that won the Open, you know? Like, it's possible that Goblin Engineer is just better than Stoneforge in this deck. Alright, well, that's a pretty good draw. Uh, Scallywag, for my resub, welcome back. Hey, Jim, keep up the great content. Loving the stream in YouTube. Well, that was a good draw. Uh, okay. Sign me up. Pillage. Get him. Get him. So their hand is... I mean, they have a war still. They can just war for it again, but... Not a ton we can do about that, unfortunately. Oh. Or we'll just draw another one. That works too, I guess. Why not? Why not? Uh, Dreadlord Arcanist ain't doing nothing, so... Neither is... I mean, Chandra could flash like Pillage, I guess, but they're going to get a bunch of tokens out of it. That sucks. I think we're dead, folks. Pretty good draws from our opponent there, not going to lie. Uh, the back-to-back -back Doctor Foundries is pretty good. They had the war, at least war was slow, you know. Blister Burn didn't play play looting, so I think Blister Burn's fine. Uh, Ryan Overturf's version of a deck did, but uh, Blister Burn did not. So now they, now they have five tokens and five life. Yeah, I mean it's Plague Engineer or bust. That's a marshal. I guess we could draw um, a Coligan's command to get back to Plague Engineer. That's that's a something. I mean, I could flashback Pillage, but they can just word mention anyway. I'm just tagging. Let's see how they block.
Okay, so they're okay. They're not. They're not playing safe. Never mind. Okay, so they're making a bunch of blockers, killing all my stuff. I get to post combat Chandra. I mean, if I Chandra and kill Thopter Foundry, they just attack the Chandra and then were for another Thopter Foundry. But it does delay them from making tokens for one turn. Um, I guess I've mostly committed to this line now that I've done this, so. And then hopefully we draw Cole against Command or Engineer. Yeah, them having multiple copies of everything they they had has pretty been pretty uh pretty unfortunate for us. So plague engineer or we have three against command and one plague engineer in our deck. A few few cycles for it too. So. They draw lands. Lands pretty good. They get one token this turn. Plague Engineer. That's a fatal push. Plague Engineer. That's a pillage. Uh, pillage is pillage isn't good enough because they were for. Uh, I guess I could attack and see what they do. Maybe maybe they if they go for the block like we get to get everything here. Ooh. Ooh. Mismatch Snowlands? Gross. I'm, I'm dumb. I didn't count their... I was going to count their mana. They're still going to get a number of Thopters here. I'm gonna push this and keep my thing alive. Kill Thopter Foundry again. We are going to eight though, so we are dead in two turns. All right. Yeah, it's a Fairy Plus Astro Lab is so good. We, we had that in our Sahili deck. Really, really good, good combination of cards. Both the Fairy and Astrolab are cards that are very secretly very good. They just do a lot more than it looks like they do. Alright. Plague Engineer. Lightning Bolt. Plague Engineer. Marsh Flats. Mm. I can't bolt. It's a fairy. I gotta bolt this and Zach. Yeah, Astro Lab is actually unreal. I mean, they want to play a longer game. They have two cards in hand. It's not, it's not great for us, but we'll see. It looks like they're flooding. Would I rather Arcanist, or would I rather Flashback Season Pyromancer? They have two cards in hand. I'm going to Pyromancer. It attacks the Fairy better. Oh, good call, Ross. You were wrong. Nowhere here. Stoneforge Mystic. God. Batter Skull. That is problematic.
Hooligans Command. Zodiac Brave, resub, welcome back. Huh. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. These pillages haven't been very bad, I'm not gonna lie. I guess I can't cast spells with the because Teferi. God. Teferi is so miserable. God. Can't cast spells with Dreader Arcanist. Oh, wow. What do they do? They bounced Astrolab to draw? Ew. Detention Sphere. Right. They do have a 2 4 Stone Forge Mystic. Oh, God. They have a 3 5 Stone Forge Mystic. 3 6. I can't even do math. All right. We're drawing pretty good, too. I can't complain. Ah, uh, it's not enough damage, but... Mm. Pentad Prism has been called. Pentad Prism, everyone. Let's hear it for Pentad Prism. Uh, this is actually pretty dope. So they've... Locked us under Ensnaring Bridge. So I get to just cast Chandra. <laughs> and kill them with it. That's cool. Bedlam Reveler. Draw three. First good Reveler. In the history of. Uh, All right, your turn, Mr. 3-6 Stoneforge Mystic, or Mrs. 3-6 Stoneforge Mystic. Thoughtsies. Chandra. Wow, that's that's some synergy right there. Look who's got a friend. Is that a concession? Is it, is it a concession lag? Sure feels like it. Oh, yeah, it is. Ho 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 ho. Oh yeah, that felt nice. Um, okay. Hmm. We do have a lot of shatters in our deck, all things considered. Um I guess Hazard kills through Kills through a uh, a bridge as well. All right, this is fun. Excuse me. I'll take it. I will take it. Rakdos pile. Tan and Grace hosting for four for four viewers. Is that a short little stream time? What was that? <laughs> oh, it's definitely a pile. There is some synergy, but there are certainly some some anti synergies. Uh, this Bedlam Reveler Arcanist thing is not a uh, not very endearing. His hands not very endearing. Um, he's doing his best. Okay. I mean, all of our cards are good. I think Plague Engineer is actually really good. Point of Mulligan's the six. Ugh. Keeper Mulligan. Keeper Mulligan. I mean, Pillage being a Shatter was the important part. One of my cards is a Maritime Guard. I prefer some other wizard. I mean, obviously we have spells in our deck. We can just draw them. We're on the draw. I'm keeping. Ross, go to hell. Taste it, Ross. Taste it. All right. They mold six. We're going to draw any land or any one mana spell. That's not Lightning Bolt. 
or fatal push. <laughs> it's basically a one mana spell. Lumen Grid Warden. That, that's the one I was looking for. That's the one I was looking for. Oh, yeah. Give me that land. For the love of God, Magic Online, just cast my spells. Bingo! It's mana base. It's supposed to ferry here would be pretty annoying, but... I mean, next turn we're going to, like, Pyromancer and make two tokens, I think. So, Dead of Winter. Wow. That's aggressive. They must have another one, right? All right, well... Hmm. If they have an Urza, this gets pretty ugly. But I think we're going to Liliana here. And I think we're going to discard the Bedlam Reveler. That's my that's my my inkling here. It's, I'm getting a tingle, you know? What's up, Mikey? Yeah, best Lumen Grid Warden ever. Eats a Dead of Winter. Discard another Thopter Foundry? Okay. So they have Urza. I can at least Edict them once. And then uh, play Pyromancer and make some tokens and make some blockers and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess they could sap sack spell bomb draw a card. That's actually pretty good. Um, so, they can make a blue, make a blue, no, wait, they make a blue with Construct, make a blue with Spellbomb, sack Spellbomb to Foundry, make a blue into a black, draw a card, so Edict, so Edict is not going to work here, um, and they have no cards in hand, wow, all right. We play Engineer before we eat it, though. We have no good blocks anymore. And they, just, they just attack and kill Liliana. I'm pretty sure we're going to Pyromancer, discarding Arcanist and Pyromancer. We draw a land and we can bolt. It's insane. If not, it's still fine. Um, yeah. Help me out, Pyromancer. Make my terrible hand good. Place. Um, I guess getting a mountain is fine. Does naming Thopter with Engineer stop the combo? Yes. That's going to be our play next turn. So next turn we get to Edict again and with, with, with Engineer and kill the Urza. So they have one turn to spin Urza, basically. Urza is very good. It's a good magic card. Alright, so they're going to do that. And draw a card. Make a token. We're going to bolt the token. Which is effectively bolting one of their good things. They sack a creature. So now, we need them to not draw... Stoneforge Mystic or Sword of the Meek. Alright. Astrolab is still pretty good. Actually, it's not that good. Never mind. Because the, the Engineer is going to handle everything else, so... Oh, God. They activate and hit Inventor's Fair, but they already played a land, so they can't play it. This game is over. Thanks for playing. Appreciate your time here. I hate this card so much. I really, really do. Plague Engineer is just so stupid. Just way too good. Name Thopter. Edict you. Suck it, nerd. Uh, 
I bolt the construct and they just sacrifice the token, right? Isn't really the same thing. I mean, they have one card in hand. Yeah, Plague Engineer is super obnoxious. I really, really don't like this card. Fatal Push? That's a tilt. Uh, Alright. God, don't do this. Okay. Alright. Uh, I mean, we're, just, we're certainly winning at the moment, but we are flooding a bit here. They have some big draws. They have nothing, though. They have two Thopters and a Thopter Foundry, basically. They drew a land. Awesome. Get some Elementals. Awesome. We got a threat. We're winning the race. We draw Pillage. Love to see it. That turns off a lot of their outs. Pillage. Pillage has been surprisingly good. Two Thopters versus the world. I guess Stoneboard Mystic would be a good draw for them. I don't know, it's a, it's a Flood Strand. Season of Pyromancer has been very, very good. Season of Pyromancer is a very real magic card. Uh, as far as fair magic cards in modern go, uh, Season of Pyromancer is really good. Three and one. Our only loss being top decking Mern Master. Oh god, we're crashing. Remember, folks, like I said, it's September. We're at, we're almost at 550. We're almost, almost, uh, almost to 600. This is day number one of 20 days in a row of streaming. 20. And you get half off subscriptions right now. Alright, so. Save your money. New subs. Let's go. Don't forget also, like I said. Oh, look at that. Right on time. Captain Jack. Old man shakes fist at chat for not subbing faster. Wait, that's just me. Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Um, and, again... What do you get when you subscribe? Well, access to my free Pick'em League. Survivor Football. Real simple. Pick one team each week. There's going to be prizes from my sponsors. I have new sponsors coming too as well. So I'm going to get surprises from them too. And uh, free to play for subs only. What else do subs get? Uh, no ads. Private Discord chat server. Awesome emotes. Unfettered access to my VODs for subs only. Uh, Christmas cards every year. I'm going to send out a goblin token my new goblin token with every Christmas card this year. Um, it's great. It's awesome. Opponent says, big fan. Sweet. God, we've had a lot of one-landers. I'm not gonna lie. Blake, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, God. Seth, gifting subs left and right. Get your goobers in chat, please. Um, okay. This hand's fine. We're on the play. Shipping a land seems greedy. I'm going to ship a Coligan's Command. Do subs get cyborg guides? I mean, occasionally I will put cyborg guides in my Discord. Yes. Oh my god, everyone's gifting subs now. I gotta turn off this damn sub notification thing. I'm so sick of it. Like... I'm done. I want a nice, clean, simple thing. It doesn't work. I have it like, I was experimenting with it on here. Where is it? Yeah, it's like this, but it doesn't work for some reason. It like, it's supposed to load like you see, like there should be names and stuff. It just like doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. It is cool. Alright. Thought sees ya. 
I'll get a swamp. Let's take a little looky loo here. Oh my god. The graveyard decks are out in force. Fulminator Mage? We can't beat this deck. Monstrous Carabid, Street Wraith, Demonic Dread? I don't know how we ever beat this deck. Alright, take Demonic Dread, I guess. Yeah, Pianos is dope. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. I don't think it works with this version of OBS. I'm using an older version of OBS. I get that new computer going. I get that new computer going. I'm just too busy streaming every single day for all of you. All you ungrateful heathen. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, cycle those two. Sure. I don't know how we're going to win. Like, are you cheesing out Blood Moon? That could happen. That could be a thing. Cole against command to discard your own Bedlam Reveler. That is gas. That is gas. Our opponent is playing a Living End, if you're unfamiliar with the deck. Uh, it plays a bunch of cycling creatures that suck, like this. Then it plays uh, Cascade cards. It cascades into the card Living End, which has no mana cost. They can play it for free. And uh, they bring all their creatures back and kill all the creatures in play. Yeah, I hate three two solid, solid league, solid league. Once we sideboard, we have graveyard hate. We can win, but like without graveyard hate, don't think we can win. Dreadhorde Arcanist. So the problem is we're getting Stone Rain next turn. <laughs> like, I don't know if we can beat a Stone Rain. Uh, Remember, folks, uh, we're doing a John and Jim show after this. John gets off the bus around 3.10. Me and John, my stepson, play co-op games, usually retro games. We're playing Donkey Kong Country. All right? Not going to want to miss that. If I play Blood Moon at their fetch land, they just fetch a basic. So my best chance to cheese them out is to have them fetch only duels and then Blood Moon. Like what happened here. So... Yeah. Can't fetch. Can't play Blood Moon into a Burden Catacombs. Oh, they're just going for it. They're getting back literally a Carabid and a Street Wraith. So you see they cast this card. It cascades their entire deck until they hit this card, Living End, which says, uh, basically, kill everything in play and every, everything in the graveyard comes back to life. So. Bluefin Tune is reset. Welcome back. Fatal push. That's not very good right now. I'm just gonna scoop. Go to the next game. We just, we just can't win. Like, we can't beat the Swamp Walker. They're gonna Fulminator Mage us next turn. Just no good. You know, just no good. A Infinity ten month resub. Welcome back. I'm cranking up here. Y'all want to see some goblins apparently. All right. Uh, Nile Spell Bomb. Surgical Extraction. Collective Brutality. Brutality is also double good. Because I can discard my own creatures to it for a little extra value. That's kind of nice. So I actually might have bring these Plague Engineers. Eh, they're pretty bad. Eh, just discard them. And Kalidus. What do I want to cut? I mean, so many of my cards are bad. Uh, Fatal Push, Lightning Axe, Coligan's Command. I mean, Blood Moon's pretty bad, too. Um, Liana's terrible. Oh my god, this is bad. Uh, I mean, the thing is, there's nothing to target with the axe. So then how many creatures in play? So, uh, what's up, demon? Uh, I guess Blood Moon to cheese them out. No, I still want discard spells. You want to be able to hit their their cascades, if possible. We could try and pillage them out. 
It's like Stone Rain them. Um, is Stone Rain better than Blood Moon? Probably. Right? Eh, maybe not in game one. Or maybe not, maybe not on the play. They haven't seen Blood Moon yet, so... I think I like the Blood Moons, actually. Just cheese them out a little bit. I like a little cheese. These Lightning Bolts are pretty bad, too. Maybe I just don't want any bolts. I just want the pillages. So many threes. Yeah, this looks good to me. Let's do this. Uh, Chandra. Maybe Chandra's okay, like big Chandra, but I'm not sure what I'd rather play. What I would play it over. So on the draw, we're gonna cut the pillages. I'm just bringing pillage in the play. Try and try and cheese them out. Zodiac Brave works in a cheese factory. You make cheese for a living. What kind of cheese? I love cheese. All right. Uh, yeah, this place. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll thought seize. I almost don't mind delaying a turn on thought seize. Let him psycho a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Let's just play spell bomb. Nah, I should have thought seize first. They, 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 they have an answer for this. Yeah, that's probably dumb. I should have thought these first. Cycle, Street Wraith. The goal was I wanted to cycle a few cards before I cast the Thought Seize to try and hit their hit their Cascade spell, but Pillage is on target. I mean, they're not playing discards. So they can't play any spells that cost less than three, so their hand is Demonic Dread, Fulminator Mage, Horror, Living End. All right, so take the Dread, right? Yeah. Would be kind of cool to Surgical the Living End, but only have two Surgical in our deck. It's not super likely. Catacombs, Blood Crypt, can't wait to pillage you. I can't wait. Discard the uh, Heart of the Broken Lands. They do have plenty of mana, but... Alright. Give him the Stone Rain. Light him up. I mean, they're not going to crashing footfalls us because they have Living End still in their deck. You can't cast the Cascades card and not know if you're going to hit Living End or crashing footfalls. So, all right, there's your Catacombs. Collective Brutality. Alright, so... I kind of want to just... Discard Plague Engineer and duress them. Maybe just playing the Plague Engineer is better. Like, hitting their Living End is kind of nice. Suspending Living End actually isn't... I guess we have the, the Spell Bomb, but... Yeah, I'm actually gonna... Let's... I'm gonna pitch the engineer. And we're gonna we're gonna sunbay canyon look look for a better threat anyway. Alright, so their hand is Cycler, Fairy Macabre, cute, Fulminator Land Land. Alright, that's Kind of annoying, I guess. Fairy Macabre does a wrench and do our uh, get our own creatures back plan, but that's okay. They get a basic swamp. All right, so they're playing around Blood Moon. Yep. I 
I mean, that's uh, that's really sketchy because I was gonna sack it anyway. If they target a black leaf cliffs, then I have to think about if I want to sack or not. But that's that's super loose. All right, I mean, you got it. Thoughts on Stoneforge and Modern? It's good. It's not unbelievable. Um, I think it's going to be a little similar to Jason Bloodbraid, where it's like going to be a good part of the format, but everyone was terrified of it, but it's not going to be like overbearing. It is better than Jason and Bloodbraid, but I don't think it's like oppressively good. Um, we'll see. Okay. I think we discard spell first. Um, it is really good, but they have four cards in hand. Yeah, fuck it. Can't kill a Shriek Maw. If they get to the living end exactly this turn, we spell bomb them. So, like, it's not the end of the world. We are losing the value on our our spell bomb, but they're wasting their entire graveyard and a living end. They only have three living ends too, and one's already in the graveyard. So All right, they're going for it. They revealed four cards. They're casting Living End. I mean, so we'll Tormod script them. So, pay the black, no. Living End resolves. They allowed the Plague Engine to come back and play. What do I name with this thing? Uh huh. This is a horror. A wraith. Uh, I don't know. Wraith, I guess. Rogue. Fairy. Doesn't really matter. Swamp walk's annoying, I guess. All right, so they have three cards in hand. Now they can Fairy Macabre my Kalidus. It's fine, though. Could be worse. Uh, one, two, three, four. Not quite, but close. I assume they have Fairy in response, maybe. Maybe not. Reveler's been weird, because it has been pretty good. Like, Thoughtseize. Alright, that's a pretty smart uh, exile. They got my sorceries. They have two Horror of the Broken Lands in their hand. Alright. I'm not feeling great about this game, honestly. They draw a land and cast this card. Like, it's, it's pretty big. You know? Alright, they didn't draw a land. They cycled one. Now they draw a land. All right, Simeon Spirit Guy has been called. Should have named Monkey. All right, this cost six, obviously. Yeah, and obviously we drew a tap land. God, unreal. Uh, all right, it's your turn. Yeah, it's a boom boom. Horror of the Broken Lands. There it is. Looking all horrible and stuff. Alright, so they're out. They have no cards left. And we're about to reload. So I'm feeling reasonably good about this. Let's 
It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, Simeon Spirit Guide is not a shaman. It is a ape spirit. Ape spirit. You draw land. This game's over. All right, Blood Moon, basically irrelevant. All right, we're gonna double escalate, kill a creature, drain, target that, target them, discard Blood Moon, get my prowess going, cause I'm so prowessful. It's too soon to point out how much better Faithless Looting is than every card in this deck. I mean, yeah, obviously Looting is good, you know. Bedlam Reveler. <laughs> Alright, I've seen better, but... Alright, I will put you to... Two life points. Chump Block. So they're going for Cascade Spell or Bust. There are currently no creatures in my graveyard, so a Cascade Spell would be very good for them. Looking like they didn't get there. Monstrous Carabid. Oh, you love to see it. That's pretty good. That is the game. A little spell bomb action. Attack with all my creatures, and they're dead. I hope you got a fun to say go and make them attack, because this thing has to attack, but I'll take it. Holy crap, dude. I'll take it. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed, show me that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I agree. Cycling is definitely the play there. Find that Cascade spell. Have a chance to win the game. All right, so we're going to bring in a, a Chandra over a Pillage. I'm going to bring two bolts back in. I don't think Pillage is very good on the draw. I guess Lightning Axe is okay. Yeah, it's fine. This deck does win slowly. That is definitely true. That is the concern. What on earth am I lightning bolting? Their face. That's what. Alright. I mean, it's not great, but a lot of our hands aren't going to be great. We only have two spell bombs to mulligan too. I'm going to keep. We have thought these. We have our one fast card in the entire deck. Lightning Bolt, turn one. Like, Stone Rain on the draw just seems terrible. So, like, their deck is literally all cycling cards and never going to miss a land drop. They mulligan to five. Well, now I kind of wish I had, I had the uh, had the Stone Rain. If I knew they were mulligan to five, you know, but... All right. Their hand is... Simeon Spirit Guide, Fulminator Mage, Desert Ceridon, Land. Well, I can't really afford to get stone to get stone rain to this hand, so I'll take the Fulminator Mage. Um, obviously, if they find a Cascade card in their first few draws, we're probably gonna lose. But uh, that's kind of the breaks, so. That's not bad. Um, they also currently uh, aren't beating a blood moon, which is kind of nice. So,
No cascade. No cascade. No cascade. If they have a cascade here, we just lose. Ah, oh, crap. Nice mulligan to five opponent. All right, we're dead. We can't win. They have two big creatures, and then we, we, get, so we get stone rain, and our hand's worthless. Yeah, not a good matchup. Um, feels bad. Does feel bad. Perhaps Living End is a deck that can come back now because uh, the other, the better graveyard hex decks are gone. Should I have not played a creature? You know what? That that's honestly kind of reasonable. I think maybe you're right. Playing a creature turns on Demonic Dread as it requires a target. Um, they could have drawn the other one that does not require a target, but I turn off half their top decks. So like, by playing a creature, I'm allowing them to get lucky when I could just. Uh, could just hold the creature and just try and blood moon them and cheese them out. That might have been wrong. Might have been wrong. I could buy that. Uh, yeah, but um, it's a 3-2. This feels like a 3-2 deck, honestly. It's just like, fine. It's playing okay cards. It's not super synergistic. Um, the Bedlam Reveler, Dread Horde, anti-synergy, pretty awkward. Um... A lot of creatures and planeswalkers and enchantments. They're also bad. Reveler too. So I think we need to be like a reveler deck or not. And we're not really making a good distinction. Uh, which is a problem. Which is a problem. Um, yeah. Deck also needs, needs a way to actually close the game. Uh, Gort asks, I'm located in NYC or L Long Island. The only good places to play EDH, preferably with people who are cool proxies. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't play Commander. I, I don't know. I don't know that that, uh, that scene really. I'm sure you can find groups online though. Um, but yeah. So overall, not super impressed. Um, I am very impressed with Season Pyromancer. Uh, that card is really good. Um, but I think I would like to build this a little more in line with Mardu Pyromancer. Um, I'll work on it. I got a lot of stuff to work on. I have a lot of ideas. We're gonna we're gonna grind them out and figure it out. But um, that's uh, that's faithless looting day. Um, watching on YouTube, subscribe because you're awesome and you're great.